Badminton is a popular sport that's enjoyed by millions of people worldwide, and the equipment used to play the game is just as important as the players themselves. So, let's dive in and see how this gear is created. The first step in making a badminton shuttlecock is choosing the right feathers. Most shuttlecocks are made using goose feathers, and the selection process is crucial. The feathers must be of a specific size, shape, and quality to ensure that the shuttlecock will fly smoothly and consistently. Once the feathers have been sourced, they're inspected for quality. The inspection process involves looking for specific characteristics such as length, shape, durability, and stiffness. The feathers must be of uniform size and shape to ensure that the shuttlecock will be well balanced and fly straight. After the inspection, the feathers are sorted into different grades based on their quality. The best feathers are reserved for use in high-end shuttlecocks, while lower-grade feathers are used in less expensive shuttlecocks. The assembly process starts with covering the cork head with a thin layer of leather. The cork head and leather cover work together to create the shuttlecock's shape and weight. The trimmed feathers are then inserted into the cork base using a special machine that wraps the feathers tightly around the cork. The feathers are arranged in a circular pattern, with each feather overlapping slightly with the one before it. A traditional badminton shuttlecock is made with 16 feathers, which are usually sourced from the left wing of a goose. However, shuttlecocks with 14, 18, or 20 feathers are also available, and synthetic materials are increasingly being used as a substitute for natural feathers in some shuttlecock designs. To ensure that the shuttlecocks are ready for the next step, a worker carefully inspects their shape and repairs any damaged feathers. After inspection and repair, the shuttlecocks are placed into a wind tunnel to assess their aerodynamic performance and ensure proper balance. To achieve maximum balance, some shuttlecocks may have feathers with slightly different angles, carefully arranged to optimize their aerodynamic properties. After the feather angles have been adjusted, the shuttlecocks are transferred to a machine that applies a small amount of glue along the entire length of the feathers. This secures the feathers in place and ensures that they remain in position during play. To provide further stability to the feathers, workers place them in a specialized sewing machine that securely binds them together using two rows of tightly wrapped thread. This process strengthens the shuttlecocks by firmly securing each feather to the next and it also helps to maintain their shape, even when they are subjected to high-speed impacts and repeatedly hit back and forth over the net during play. Generally, a basic shuttlecock sewing machine can cost anywhere from $500 to $1,500, while more advanced models with additional features and capabilities can cost upwards of $2,000 or more. After the machine has finished testing a shuttlecock, a worker ties off the thread to prevent it from unrevealing and cuts off any excess thread. The shuttlecocks are then inspected one final time to ensure that the feathers are properly aligned and the shuttlecock is ready for use. It is common for shuttlecocks to be treated with a light coating of oil to help protect and preserve the feathers. A machine applies glue to the shuttlecocks, securing the feathers in place and giving them the necessary degree of stability. The cork head is designed to quickly absorb the glue to ensure that it adheres to the feathers properly. Some popular brands of shuttlecock glue include Yonex and Victor. Once the glue is applied, the shuttlecocks are inspected for any imperfections. A machine applies colored strips to indicate the speed of the shuttlecock. Slow speed shuttles get a green strip, medium speed shuttles get a blue strip, and fast speed shuttles get a red one. Now a machine applies a logo on the shuttlecock. There are several popular badminton brands that produce shuttlecocks including Yonex, Victor, Lining, RSL, and Carlton. The quality control testing process typically involves a machine equipped with a robotic arm that fires the shuttlecock to a waiting worker. The worker then inspects the shuttlecock for any defects, such as the feathers being out of place or the cork being cracked. This process ensures that only the highest quality shuttlecocks are released for sale to consumers. Once the shuttlecocks have passed the quality control test, a worker inserts 12 shuttlecocks at a time into long cardboard tubes, which are similar to those used to hold tennis balls. 
The tubes are sealed with a plastic or cork cap and then packaged in cardboard boxes for shipment to retailers. Some manufacturers may also package the shuttlecocks in plastic tubes or bags for additional protection during shipping and storage. The shuttlecock, also commonly known as a birdie due to its 16 feathers, can impressively reach speeds of up to 400 km per hour, making it twice as fast as the fastest baseball throw. How Tennis Rackets Are Made The manufacturing process starts with the preparation of the raw materials, which involves heating and stretching the graphite or carbon fiber until it becomes strong and resilient. Next, the frame of the racket is created by layering sheets of the material over a mold. The number of layers and the orientation of the fibers in each layer can vary depending on the desired properties of the racket, such as stiffness or flexibility. Some of the most common types of badminton rackets are power rackets and control rackets. The properties of the material, including its high strength to weight ratio, make it a popular choice among professional manufacturers. In addition, carbon fiber is known for its excellent vibration damping and corrosion resistance properties. After the carbon tube is prepared, it is placed into a steel mold that is used to shape the racket. Additional fiber pieces are added to reinforce the racket and improve its strength and durability. This process ensures that the racket is sturdy and can withstand the stresses of intense gameplay. The steel mold is heated to 160 degrees Celsius and a pressure of 10 bars is applied to force the fiber and resin into the shape of the mold. Additional resin pieces are then added to fill any remaining gaps and ensure a smooth surface finish. This process is crucial for creating a high-quality tennis racket that is both strong and lightweight. To accommodate any strains, the holes for the grommets are drilled using a special industry-grade machine. The design of the racket is optimized based on the original kinetics, ensuring that the racket performs at its best. At this stage, custom designs can also be added to the frame, giving the racket a personalized look and feel. Custom graphics are applied to the frame only after the racket has been strained and tested for quality. The graphics are first designed using computer software and then printed onto a thin, high-quality vinyl material. The vinyl graphics are then carefully applied to the surface of the racket. Once the graphics are applied, the racket is allowed to dry and cure, ensuring that the graphics are fully bonded to the surface of the racket. Then are the rackets gripped and secured with adhesive finishing tape, which is often customized with logo of the brand. In a factory, they mostly use synthetic grips, which are made of synthetic materials such as polyurethane or PVC, and are often cushioned to provide extra comfort. Finally, the badminton rackets are strung using a specialized machine that can tension the strings to a precise level. Firstly, the racket is clamped securely in the machine and the strings are threaded through the grommets in a specific pattern. The string tension in a factory is about 20 pounds. Once the strings are in place and the tension is set, the strings are knotted at the end to keep them in place. The tension is checked again to ensure it is correct and consistent across all strings. Any excess string is trimmed off and the racket is ready to be used. To ensure optimum quality, the racket undergoes a final quality control check before being shipped. 